with graceful and gorgeous gates, dainty and dashing strides, men and women of substance strolled into the warm crones of the Ondo State Cultural Troop with a stream of felicity and a stretch of camaraderie at the blissful aura of Civic Center Lekki Lagos. For several hours on Sunday, September 15, 2015, the Civic Center throbbed with an influx of classic cars and polished guests who have trickled in from various parts of the country to honor the late Dr. Olushegun Kukumu Agagu, former governor of Ondo State, as a second memorial lecture. The guests were warmly welcomed into the embrace of chilled cocktails as I seized the privilege to unwind and reunite with old folks and associates. This was an indication of the big moment in the offing, a moment to re-invoke the lasting memory and enduring legacy of an astute leader and prudent manager of resources, Olushegun Agagu. With a solemn and thoughtful delivery from the four-man band, guests assembled at the main auditorium for the core business of the day. The event officially kicked off with the rendition of a favorite song of the deceased, echoing through the walls of the gleaming ambience. With a minute silence in honor of the late former governor, the chairman of the occasion, Chief Olushegun Obasanjo, former Nigerian president, who was represented by Prince Olagusoye Oinyilola, former governor of Oshun State, gave a warm welcome address and refreshed the minds about the legacy of the late Agagu. Agagu lived in love and it was amiable to everybody. I believe it's a solution of the memorial, the defeated memorial of a man that was for all humanity. The keynote speaker, Adam Kodjo, former Prime Minister of Togo, represented by Cornelius Adam, former Minister of Communications, Togo, drew everyone's attention to the abounding mineral sources in Nigeria, which Agagu advocated for its prudent exploration. In his own submission, the special guest speaker, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, former Nigerian Minister of Foreign Affairs, posited that Dr. Olu Shegnwagagu was reputed for championing the course of good governance in Nigeria. A distinguished academic and exemplary public servant, a unique politician who actually exemplifies the politics without bitterness. I believe that such a man only comes very rarely and he will certainly never be forgotten. In fact, today's lecture on gathering is proof that he will not be forgotten. In the same vein, evangelist Bamidele Olumilua, who late Agagu served as his deputy in the old Ondo state, mounted the rostrum to buttress the eloquent testimonies about the late former governor as a leader who used his professional experience to turn his state into an all-producing one. Shegun was a very, very creative, full of pride, and ready to put in everything himself. He knows what to do, what point. So I trusted him with practically everything. And because he was a geologist, he was the one who got our oil production status to us. It was indeed a day of profound speeches and reflective discourse as it cascaded from erudite icons, society pillars, and political tycoons, all emphasizing the sterling qualities that made the man. Dr. Olushegun Agagu, an enigma in all ramifications. And of a truth, Agagu had made his mark and left for his younger generation an enduring legacy, either in political sphere or the social circle. As a graduate of geology, both from the University of Ibadan and Texas University, USA, Agagu paraded himself with a resume that spelt prodigy. As a minister of aviation, he ministered and revived the aviation industry. His tenure as Minister of Power and Steel was eventful and highly rewarding in Nigeria. And as a governor, he used the instrumentality of government to turn around the fortunes of Ondo State for the better. 
Agagu died on September 13, 2013 at the age of 65, leaving behind worthy virtues to be emulated and celebrated by the younger generation. Two years into his demise, the name Olushegun Agagu has remained an abstract of dignity and good governance in the corridors of power. That therefore explains the convergence of eminent individuals from all walks of life on a yearly basis to eulogize and celebrate him at his memorial gatherings, which is usually punctuated with intellectual discourses of which the late Agagu was reputed for in his lifetime. The first memorial lecture was held in September 2014 with a Thanksgiving service and a memorial lecture at the International Conference Center, University of Ibadan. This year also, the story was no different, only the venue. The event wasn't only about speeches and tributes, it was also an avenue to access the success of the Olushegunagagu Foundation, which was basically set up to immortalize the name and legacy of the deceased by celebrating and rewarding diligence and excellence among students, especially in the geology department of the University of Ibadan. A comprehensive update of the foundation was given by the deceased daughter, Sholakwe Hammond. The foundation was established primarily to carry through the name and the legacy of Dr. Lujema More than 105 awards and prizes have been awarded so far. The last one year, the foundation has also added several new cash prizes and school scholarships, not just on their own, but in conjunction with many friends and associates of Dr. Lujema who have felt so passionately and have created these endowments and scholarships. We have eight new full scholarships every year, so eight new students every year will receive a full scholarship to either a secondary school or university in the name of Dr. Rishima With vote of thanks by Feyi Agagu, the event came to an end as everyone joined the deceased family for group photographs. And for the deceased widow, Mrs. Olufunke Agagu, this was an audio opportunity to celebrate a man who had made himself her source of inspiration. Some of the family members and older guests spoke to Red Carpet TV. He lived for humanity. He lived a life, a selfless life, where he saw that everything he met was left better than he met it. He has left a real legacy behind for the younger generation. And it's evident here today with the amount of uh, younger generations you can see here. He left a legacy of a good governance. Wherever he served, he served diligently. And he left legacies behind. That's why it's simply unforgettable. Of course, it is not the same. Uh, uh, she's always been there for us, both as a kid, both uh, in our adolescent years, and even as an adult. He's always been a hands-on father. He's uh, been a loving father. Uh, not just a father, it was uh, very probably my best friend. But yes, starting it off two years ago, as of this time actually, I didn't think I didn't think it could. We could survive this long, but God has been great. God has been very faithful. We have all missed him. It, it has not been easy, but when you have God, you have everything. It's been bearable because our God has been very, very faithful. From Red Carpet TV, we say congratulations to the family of Dr. Olusegun Agagu on the success of his second memorial lecture. <laughs>